Hello friends, <coughs> I welcome you all from Academy of Tech channel. Uh, today in SharePoint, we are going to discuss the difference between classic styles and modern styles. Uh, as a preamble, let me tell you that uh, classic styles were introduced in the SharePoint uh, that were uh, older version till 2013 <coughs> or 2016. Uh, in uh, SharePoint 2013, 2016, or 2010, if you see, there was a concept of uh, the uh, website or the site selection of classic sites. These were known as classic sites. Uh, these classic sites, uh, how they look like and how they were managed, uh, it was, uh, I will uh, demonstrate you uh, shortly, but let me tell you that. Uh, these classic sites were had a small uh, had a less user friendly uh, interface with respect to user point of view as well as from the management point of view. So what SharePoint did <coughs> from 2019 onwards in SharePoint 2019 or uh, if you see in SharePoint Server Subscription Model 2022, uh, SharePoint has introduced the concept of modern sites. These modern modern sites are uh, more user friendly and easy to manage. Uh, easy to configure uh, from uh, administrative point of view. So, we will see uh, them uh, in uh, the video. Let me demonstrate you uh, first that what I have done so far. <coughs> in uh, If I go into the central administration of SharePoint, I have configured two uh, sites for uh, the comparison purpose. Let me log into the SharePoint Central Administration. This is a SP19 admin is a uh, administrator. Administrator. This is the password. And uh, after logging in, we will see that what we have done. How I have configured these sites. So you must have a better idea that what is happening and what I am demonstrating. So. <coughs> If I go into the application uh, management, I have a web application that is this one. So this is the website or we can say this is the web application. I told in my uh, previous videos, let me repeat this thing that is very important to understand for the business that web application itself is nothing. It's a container. It's a container with, uh, if you uh, initially configure a web application, you will see that they will be, uh, it will not be browsed. Although it has a URL, it's uh, created, but it will not be browsed because it's an empty container. To access it, you have to configure uh, some things in the container that are site selection. So what you do, you go into the, after creating web application, you go into the uh, create site selection and here you can create multiple sites in a web application. Uh, right now I have already created uh, some <coughs> site selections so I will go to the view all site selections. Here you can see that this is the home page and this is its URL. Its affiliated database is this one. If we go, I have come, right now we, I have also configured two more site selections. The first one I have named it classic one and the second one is modern site. This is the URL of this one and this is the URL of this one. So let's open it in uh, new tabs. I'm going to open it in uh, another server of same domain. <coughs> so this one is this one and the other one was HLTF modern site. So after browsing, we will see what is the main difference between them. <coughs> I am going to log in through uh, the administrator. And uh, same for this one. So friends, this one, the sites are now open. The first one was this one. Uh, its name was classic and this is the classic template of 
shear point side collection. If we go into the model side, this is the uh, look and feel of the initial template that is available out of the box. <coughs> if we compare both of them, you can see that this is the left navigation pane. This is the left navigation pane in classic. And if we see here, this is the left navigation pane. So in modern science, what SharePoint has done, it has improved uh, the layout. That is, it has proper <coughs> partition with this column. It has a search box here. But in classic side, you see that it's not so much visible. And search, is, uh, search box is available at this point. So one more thing, uh, what SharePoint has done, this is the front page. You can change the name of this page by going into the site information and changing it the name modern site. You can also change the logo that is appearing here. Right now, I'm not changing the logo, I'm just changing the name here. So, <coughs> it's as easy as, as like that. Uh, and in this one, you have to go into the uh, edit page where you can uh, go into the top columns, edit source and format text page, edit properties. There are uh, multiple things here which uh, can be uh, seen here. So editing is uh, a little bit, uh, you can say that less user friendly here because here you can see I want to uh, add any partition. What I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, insert a web part. So in web part, I'm going to select documents and I'm going to add it. <coughs> so here you can see that I have added a document part here. Uh, similarly, you can configure this page as uh, according to your requirement. You can add links here. You can add multiple links here. And uh, similarly, many other things you can do here. I'm going to save it. <coughs> so after saving, you can see that a document uh, web part is appearing here. And uh, these are some of the out of the box things. You can simply go to click. Here you can brand uh, your site. For example, you want to change name here, classic site. You can do so. You can insert logo here. But overall, the functions are the same. <coughs> but uh, you can see that it is less user friendly. So if I go here and I want to add something here, it's very simple. I'm going to edit this page. In this, I was going to this one, and then I was editing it uh, in classic site. But in this modern site, the edit option is available to all the members who have the right of full control over editing the site. If you are giving uh, the permission of uh, only read or view to the users, they cannot see this bar. <coughs> okay. Uh, let me uh, show you here. You can uh, say that, uh, okay, now let me tell you here that uh, if I go into edit, so I'm going to edit this page. What I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this part. Similarly, I'm going to add a new web part. Here uh, you can add uh, a web part in a very simple way. I'm going to add the document library here. <coughs> Which document library I'm going to select this one and I'm going to publish it. Save and close, and then I'm going to see that how it looks like. Then after the word I can publish it. After publishing <coughs> the this new design will appear to all of your users. So I have added a document part here. If I go into uh, okay, one more thing. If I go into the documents here document is uh, most uh, used uh, part of a uh, uh, SharePoint line uh, because it has a already a very good strength of document management. So what I have done, I am going into the app that is documents and in documents you can see that this is the uh, 
view of the document template but this is a classic view but if i go into the modern sites and go out and i navigate to the documents <coughs> you can see uh, that uh, it's uh, sorry i'm going to close it okay so you can see here that the documents appear like this so it's a better comparison that this view is not so much user friendly if we consider this view i'm going to add one more part let's say i want to add this powerpoint into this one what i'm going to do i am going to add it here and then i'm going to uh, <coughs> say that uh, if i go here and i upload the document from this page here it is giving me the option of browse here i'm going to use desktop and this is the powerpoint presentation i want to upload <coughs> so after uploading you can see that the document that is uploaded is shown here but if i upload the same document in a model site it gives a much better view so you can have a better comparison here similarly uh, in model site you can see that you can change the view as well if i go into the compact list the view will change that i can also shift, uh, switch towards the uh, tiles view in tiles view there is a uh, logo of powerpoint microsoft word microsoft excel uh, depending on the document type but here you have no such options you have only one view and you can't change this view so uh, that's why it's like your friend similarly if you want to go into the like document settings you go here and here are these settings here you can edit library you can uh, go to library settings here <coughs> these are the library settings i will tell you about them in detail uh, if uh, in my upcoming videos uh, if i go into this one i go into the library settings you can see that it's uh, more uh, easy to go here uh, what i have to do all i i will click this setting here and will, i will navigate to library settings so i am navigate to the same properties of uh, or the same property page here but the difference is now evident that in modern sites you have better user interface less uh, you need very less power to configure these pages you can just simply edit you can add multiple things here image gallery you can add people you can uh, configure a quick chart you can also add quick links through which users can quickly click and go to some other pages screen preview is available so the multiple <coughs> web content parts are available here you can also add text and uh, similarly you can also split the portion into uh, different grids if i want two column three columns one third column one column depending upon your requirement uh, but in uh, this site you can say that uh, you have to go into the page edit uh, it's very difficult to <coughs> change the uh, grid you uh, add web parts is not so user friendly so this was all about uh, the difference between classic site and modern sites uh, i thank you all for watching this video and guys please subscribe my channel so that uh, you may uh, see the latest videos um, by clicking the bell icon i thank you all